Yandere Def, you kinky bitch! Oh, well I found the basement easter egg. Hey, those aren't the pansies I equipped. This is bullshit. Ah, oh, you screamed that when there are construction workers next door. Yep, this is my job. You don't have anything to be ashamed of. Just tell me what's wrong. I'm not gonna say anything else. Please, just drop it. Don't worry, slightly less green-haired girl. If ever you need the evidence to bring this woman's words out of her mouth, I, uh, I collected a bucket of her tears. Is this joke good? Did it... Is that a good one? No? The alternative was that this joke would be about somebody fancying another person. I don't really think you want to go down that path now, do you? Uh... This is not the dumpster I interacted with. But, uh... That is not even where the dumpster was. Alright, then Alpha is Alpha. So is nobody going to question why there's just this random green-haired girl standing on the roof every single day, never blinking, never moving, never breathing? Is it just me that finds that the tiddly idly is bit concerning? But seriously though, those eyes... <laughs> wow, this guy enjoys the walk to class that much he refuses to fucking stop even when he's there. I won't question it. Ooh. Well, it's after school hours and nobody else is on the premises anymore. I think it's time for Yandere to Yan Bear it all. I know it's pronounced Yandere. The joke doesn't work if I pronounce it right. What the bloody hell is this? Is this a bloody wall of ma- What is that? <laughs> And now we're going to give our purple-haired rival the shock of her life. Oh, hi, Mark. Or maybe not. Oh, so me just having my tits out is completely fine? Not a problem for you? All right, then. Well, the students don't seem to mind my blatant nudity. Uh, let's see how the teachers handle this information. Nope. Not even a flinch. Well, it's nice to know that the, uh... Yandere Academy is accepting all forms, including my ridiculously busty nature at the age of I don't know what, let's not go there. Oh, purple haired girl's having something to eat. I've got something else for you to eat. Considering the fact that my character is a bloody mass murderer given the opportunity, I'm really not sure where the line's being drawn here. Oh, and <laughs> here we clearly see. <laughs> purple haired tornado girl cosplaying as her fucking hair as she's just doing the twister. What the f- Either that or if she's a book of tea enthusiast who's doing a spin or in her own way, I don't bloody know. All I know is I stood in this doorway, and now she can't get out. And she's lost her fucking Jenna Marbles. Fantastic. And here we see... The entire school population walking past an assortment of weapons, not batting an eyelid. And I believe at the beginning there, somebody glitched through that fence. <laughs> There are many things to be said about the fucking high school here. They, they are they're really not all together in the head. And if dear Yandere has her way, they won't physically be all there in the head either. You know what? After stalking that purple-haired bitch for this entire time, I think it's time to scratch that murderous itch. Methinks I'm gonna be leaving her a note about that little old factoid I discovered because she was stupid enough to be screaming it at the top of the lungs on the top of a rooftop. That's, that's, that's impressive. Now, let's see if what happened last time happens again. Yep. Teleporting. <laughs> Dumpsters, fuck it, why not? I told you to meet me at 4 p.m., bitch. It's 11 minutes past 4 p.m. When you when someone makes an appointment with you, especially in the in the terms of blackmail, you you turn your ass up early. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. I, uh, I forgot to open the dumpster. Hello, 
Hello, green lady who's, for whatever reason, you know, guarding the bucket and the sink that's on a roof connected to no pipes. We, we won't question that. We won't question that whatsoever. <laughs> Did someone really just throw water on me? Why would someone do this? I can't go to class like this. I need to change my clothes. Yeah, you know that last thing you just said? Yeah, that's why someone would dump water on you. And now I'm going to get nude, leave my school uniform in there, and take... Take you. I would have taken yours, but it's not letting me. Bugger it. You don't need clothes where you're going. Um... You're supposed to be moving, my dear. I guess the fact that I complimented you while you're soaking wet and completely fucking naked, that wasn't something you were worried about now? Cool. Fantastic. What the? She bugged. She didn't even go into the fucking. Okay, no, fine. We'll do it again, again. This is like the third fucking reshoot. I feel like I'm Take Two Interactive Incarnate. I'm not behind you, following your every single move, watching every single jiggle of your ass cheek. No, no. And this isn't creepy at all, because I'm not a 22-year-old man saying this about a bunch of digital pixels that are supposed to be accurately representing that of a schoolgirl. No. It's completely normal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Why does nothing work the way I want it to? It seems like such a simple concept, doesn't it? Mmm, it does. It seems like a simple concept. Can I not get in? Can I drown my fucking self, please? You know... I am curious. What the bloody hell is this fountain even here for? Everyone's just walking past it as if it's not even there. Seriously, what's the bloody purpose? Uh, oh. I think I just found my answer, didn't I? Oh yeah, yep. There it is. What a horrible way to die! He says to someone he just saw commit the Crime of murder. I don't think this guy's all too sharp. <laughs> but, uh... My sword is... It seems our purple-haired little friend is, uh... About to visit the laboratory. The laboratory. The laboratory? I never knew that stupid pronunciation of that. Who the fuck just doesn't call it the toilet? But anyway, that's neither here nor there. She's gonna go do... Whatever the hell she's gonna go do. And I'm gonna do what a woman's gotta gotta do to protect herself. And a... Precious senpai from everyone else. It would be a shame if. Uh... <laughs> you were to have the shocking revelation that you weren't the only one in this bathroom. Now, that obvious joke you saw a mile away aside. I don't believe I was ever even in this room. You know, I'm beginning to think that uh, I'm a bit too lonely these days. I'm beginning to think that uh, the life of a Yandere needs some company. I'm beginning to think I'm going to need my own personal pet. And seeing as there are no animals in this universe at the moment, I'm going to have to make do with what I've got. Huh? What's this? Maybe I should meet them. Maybe. Said maybe. You're gonna be the bitch that drives me crazy. You fucking should have done it last time, but you didn't because you glitched out, you useless purple tornado cunted fuck. You better start walking toward that fucking gym. Are you walking toward that gym with your zombie hands? You. you <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I don't believe she's supposed to be in that pose. Maybe she's just. <laughs> Maybe she's scared stiff because of the note I left her. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be the pose she's got. I don't even know what the fuck that pose is for. Whatever. We'll just follow her. We'll just see what comes of this. And hopefully the bitch doesn't take the piss, doesn't glitch, and doesn't bug her up. Please, Jesus of the Nazarene, go in that fucking room and help me, please. I'm sorry I can't talk right now. Is that because you're trying to meet someone? You ever think I'm the someone? I didn't use 
use tranquilizer properly. In you come. That's it. Now, I'm just gonna close this door. That's not weird. It's not. I promise. It's not weird at all. <laughs> I mean, it only took me like two hours to do that, but, but, but barring that frustration, some bitch gone down tonight. And now we see. I've changed her identity. I've taken away from her the one thing that she loved. Her purple twister hair. It's gone! And now she's just a sonic little motherfucking bitch chow garden wannabe. And, well, barring that, that's just the first step of many. I mean, I'm a Yandere. She's my rival. I've got way too much spare time on my hands, and I've got a creative mind. I mean, I'm sure there's a few things I can come up with to do to this poor, defenseless girl. You know, the... The, the same girl that had... My dad's been drinking a lot. Family issues. You know, uh... I'm beginning to think maybe this isn't the best idea. He comes into my room and... Maybe I've... made a mistake. I mean, she hasn't seen my face. I... I should probably let her go. After... all she's gone through is... She really doesn't deserve this. You're not gonna kill a bitch. <laughs>that the episode has come to a close. If you enjoyed it, please do like the video to let me know, and I'll be sure to make more of it in the near future when another update's come out, maybe covering the things that I fucked up and or missed. And as my content is over, you should check out another content creator. For instance, Hearts Bros. This is a ridiculously small channel with a ludicrous amount of potential, and they're already doing pretty goddamn good for themselves at the moment as it is, so I wholeheartedly recommend you check them out. I mean, my video's over, what have you got to lose out on? Couple of minutes? You might just find something you love. And also, speaking of things you might just love, you should follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Twitch for the future and Twitter for the immediate. Because, uh, I'm a bitch and I like to bitch about things, and if you like that here, you'll like that there. It's a lot more instant. And, uh, considering the nature mm -mm, of this video and the dark <laughs> topics we covered, considering how much fun this is to vent my frustrations after playing The Lost and just other things that annoy me in life, it's safe to say that many years from now, this game is still going to be Yan dear to my heart. And I know, I know it's not pronounced Yan Deer, Yan Deary, I know. Give me a break. If you gotta make a word of jokes, you gotta pronounce it wrong every now and then, right? It's, it's, it's the way it goes. Don't judge me. Please. Don't jugug me. Heh. <laughs> get it? Because we're pronouncing things wrong. I should just probably stop what I'm doing, go to bed, and get some rest. Actually, no, I'm gonna make myself a sandwich. Yeah. A tuna sandwich. Or a chicken and cheese sandwich. I don't know. I don't know why I'm fucking saying this. You now know what I had for dinner. And, uh... Thursday? Friday? Oh, whatever fucking day it is.